Apple feels interconnected within the hub. But at the same time, it feels out of place with these random human NPCs. I know Sonic interacted with people a lot in the 2000s, but it doesn't seem necessary at all, especially since these hubs are too big and can be confusing. And the cutscenes are just... Mm works of art. The lip syncing and audio balance is so atrociously bad that you have to love it. This is very early 3D work, so it's not surprising that it hasn't aged well, but my god, the mouth movements are so funny. Now obviously, playing through the Sonic stages is the highlight. You go really fast. The music's super catchy. It controls decently enough. You'll likely have a good time playing these. And honestly, the other five characters aren't that bad either. Tail stages are very similar to Sonic's, but you're a bit slower and can also fly. Flying can be awesome if you want to break everything and skip portions of levels. Depending on what kind of person you are, you'll either love or hate this. I personally think it's fantastic. Knuckles levels are pretty easy, but it's still fun gliding around and finding the emeralds. The game is just a little too friendly with the hints. It pretty much tells you exactly where to go each time. As for Amy, she probably has the worst stages. Yes, even worse than Big's fishing. With her, it's very, very slow going. It takes forever to finish levels. It's more cutscenes than gameplay with her, so I don't really care much for her stages. E102 stages are surprisingly solid. You go around shooting stuff and it's pretty enjoyable. Again, these stages and the bosses especially are too easy, but it's still a good time. But now to big stages. You have to fish for Froggy. I don't know why this needed its own story mode, but as you've heard a million times, it's not the most fun thing ever. It's gone on record by some as unplayable, but really, it's not that bad. Waiting for Froggy to hook on and learning for him is just tedious work. The bosses in general are also just way too easy and boring, but Perfect Chaos is so damn gratifying. With Open Your Heart blasting in the back while flying forward to Sonic, you can't really go wrong with this ending. There's also missions in the DX version, and a Chow Garden, so you've got quite a bit to play here. So yeah, Sonic Adventure is still a ton of fun, despite a few shortcomings. 11. Sonic Colors Wii so Sega finally said, okay, no more bullshit gimmicks, we're just gonna give you Sonic and normal running levels, and my god, it turned out to be one of the best 3D Sonic games out there. The new twist in Sonic Colors is the Wisps, and these are pretty fun as you'll find them throughout the level and they allow you to transform to get extra speed, jump higher, or get through obstacles in your path. Not every Wisp is great though, Cube just changes some blue cubes into rings and vice versa, and the Spike Wisp is the only way you can spin dash. The 